my dear brothers, my sister, a few years ago, one of our brothers, my dear brothers, Omar, uh, Mongo, uh, he's, he's here, giving me a beautiful book. It's about the meltdown, the meltdown that happened in 2007. It's called The House of Death, written by two very genius uh, professors, one of them in, in uh, Muslims, one of them in, in, university, in Princeton and the other one in University of Chicago. The whole book is about, the, ex the whole book is about explaining how the meltdown, the housing meltdown happened and what was the, what was the simple solution to, with, with numbers. It's one of the most beautiful arguments that you ever heard about why we got into that crisis the way we got into it and the impact of it that devastated so many houses and so many people and so. And what was the solution that they suggested and they didn't speak about it clearly? They didn't quote the verse in the Quran or spoke about it clearly. The solution was to forgive. If the bank forgave the people who could not pay their housing, uh, could not pay their mortgage, the whole crisis would have been averted. فَإِنْ كَانَ ذُو عُسْرَةٍ فَنَظِرَةٌ إِلَى Allah says, and if somebody had difficulty to pay their debt, then فَنَظِرَةٌ إِلَى مَيْسُرَةٍ Then wait for them until they can. وَأَنْ تَعْفُوهُ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ لَوْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And if you forgive, then it's better for you if you only know. And then Allah says after that, right after that, وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ ثُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ Why do people forgive? Tremendous amount of money if it's not for the hereafter. Those people could not forgive because they're attached to the dunya. They could not forgive. They could not fathom that. A concept of the akhirah would have gotten us through a lot of crises, social and economical and political. The concept of the akhirah has ramifications that are far away from the, from the person himself or herself. It makes life better for everybody. Why do we think we are in environmental crises? One after one after one after one. Because the akhirah is not there. Because if we believe in the akhirah, we'll take care of it in the most beautiful way. We would not have been here. But because of our greed and our conception of the dunya as something that we have to accumulate and accumulate and accumulate, we find ourselves in this situation. The akhirah gives us perspective, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, gives us perspective on our lives and the magnitude of our problems and the magnitude of what we're striving for. Where do we situate that? Where do we situate this? And where do we situate this? Where do we situate that? What is, the, what is the level of importance we give to the choices we make on a daily basis or our aspirations and so on? What is the, what is the, the how do we value things around us? Allah tells us in the Quran, وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَعِبٌ وَلَهُ وَلَا الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةُ خَيْرُ لِلَّذِينَ يَتَّقُونَ He's again and again and again that life is only amusement in, in, in a play. Again and again and again. And that real life is the life in the hereafter. And unless we live with this, we value that which Allah abased. 